Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and unapologetic. Um, you've spoken a lot about democracy, um, and I would just like to point to the accusi accusations of human rights abuses in terms of the um, elimination of your political opponents or the oppression of the press, and I would just like to hear your comments um, towards that. No, I would like to hear your comments, <laughs> because for me, it's like, you know, I, I, it's always difficult to accuse me of anything and then say, prove yourself innocent. I think I want to turn it to you and say, prove me guilty. That's, that's, that's where the problem lies. You know, the press or human rights groups, or, what they say about me personally or about Rwanda, uh, when you are in Rwanda and are dealing with these uh, decent human beings also in Rwanda, and they tell you their own stories. You won't trace even 0.001% of what they are talking about. Okay. The real life there is, is completely different from what the young girl is talking about. Absolutely different. But people will stay here, we will be here in the US and wherever, and they've never even been to Rwanda, they've never met Rwandans. The real Rwandans, they are there. <laughs> Rwandans are there. The real people of Rwanda who are no different from you, what you aspire to be, to have, to do, they are no different. But, but they, they, it's as if, Rwandans, uh, or Rwanda is treated like a botanical garden where you just go and <laughs> water flowers and you know. No, human beings like anyone in this room. Absolutely. So these, these so-called human, don't know what. I tell you, half of my life, I've been living in the trenches, not sure of living to the next day. I didn't fight to be the president of my country. Never. It came by accident, I think. So I was fighting for my own rights, which anyone in any human rights organization could not give me and even now cannot give me or cannot give Rwandans. So it's, it's, it's cynical and absurd that anyone would just be there talking about violations, you know, you, me as the leader of my own people to be accused of violating their rights. It's, it's just an absurd insult. But my answer is simple, is to do my best to serve my people the best way they can be served. That is the answer. That's a great last word. Thank you. <laughs> President Paul Kagame of Rwanda. Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want more candid speeches like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to catch all our latest videos. And please feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips, or topics about Africa you'd like us to cover.